Today is May 5th, and we are so happy that you're joining us. Tuesday, May 5th, and I hope everyone is off to a good start. Wishbone and I have been chasing a fly around our house. Wishbone loves to chase flies. So our music department is uh, planning a big event uh, for this week on Thursday, May 7th at 7 p.m. Music students throughout our community will be presenting musical performances from their front porch or from their hallway or from in front of their house or in front of their apartment, anywhere at 7 p.m. on Thursday, May 7th. So I hope you pay particular attention to that on Thursday evening at seven o'clock. Again, Monday through Friday, free lunches and breakfasts are available to every student in our community. They can be picked up at, uh, from 11 to 1 at entrance C20 at the high school, drive through on Horseman Drive, and uh, Mr. Fetchko and Mr. Sabin are out there passing out uh, meals, so I hope you'll stop by. And again, I want to thank the parents who gave us masks uh, again this week to pass out. So if you need a uh, cloth mask, uh, you can pick one up also. We need to all, we need to uh, continue to all do our part. Uh, we need to practice good hygiene. So our six reminders every day, wash your hands often for 20 seconds or longer. Cover your mouth or nose when you sneeze or cough. Avoid touching your face. Clean high touch surfaces often. Practice good social distancing. So stay at home as much as you can. Keep at least six feet between you and others if you must go out and wear a mask in public places. So when you're out at the stores, make sure you take your mask along with you. So here are six steps you can take to support your mental well-being. So first, take breaks from the news. So set aside periods of time during each day in which you close your news or social media feeds and turn off the TV. Give yourself some time and space to think about and focus on other things. Number two, take care of your body. So take deep breaths, stretch or meditate. Uh, try to eat regular, well-balanced meals. Get some physical activity every day and give yourself time to get a full night's rest of sleep. Number three, make time to unwind. Try to engage in activities and hobbies you enjoy. Engaging in these activities offers an important outlet for pleasure, fun, and creativity. Number four, connect with others. So even though we're kind of locked up in our homes, you can talk with people you trust about your concerns and how you're feeling. There are a lot of digital tools out there that can keep you connected to your friends, family, and neighbors, and particularly when you're not able to always see them. Number five, set goals and priorities. Decide what you must get done today and what can wait. Our priorities may shift to reflect changes in schedules and routines, and that is okay. And six, focus on the facts. So sharing the facts about COVID-19 and understanding the actual risk to yourself and people you care about can make an outbreak less stressful. So there are six quick tips to help our mental well-being during this time. So have no doubt, we are going to get through this. There are a lot of smart, energetic, and thoughtful people guiding us through this difficult time. And working together, we will get through this. Now let's move on to our mindful moments. First one, you ready for that? So first comes uh, our first exercise, triangle breathing, uh, comes from our, our friend, Dr. Chris Willard. So I think I'm gonna ask Bob to help me on this one. So triangle breathing is very simple and very quick. You breathe in for four through the nose, you hold it for seven, and you breathe out for eight. So remember, anytime our out breath is longer than our in breath, it stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system. So it's very simple. Breathe in for four, hold for seven, and out for eight. So a slow out. So get ready for that. Here we go. Ready, Bob? Here we go. In through the nose for four. One, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, in, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and last time, two, three, four, and hold, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Thank you, Bob, for joining me for that. And I know it wasn't perfect. I think I messed up my counting a little bit, but it's okay to not be perfect all the time. It just as a matter of taking those conscious breaths. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Wishbone. So uh, how many of you watch the weather at home or watch, you may check your app or watch it on TV or some other means you check your weather. So you might be familiar with these types of symbols. So what does the weather have to do with mindfulness? Being mindful means being able to check in with your inner self and notice how you are feeling in this moment. For some of us, it might be good to think in terms of our personal weather report. So let's try it. So sit very still, maybe close your eyes. Now summon your inner weather report. How are you feeling right now? Are you feeling sunny, rainy, stormy? Calm, windy, you might even have a tsunami going off. So we can't change the weather outside and we can't change the weather, our feelings or emotions inside all the time. All we can do is notice them and how we relate to them. It is good to be self-aware of how we are feeling. So noticing, being mindful. So next time, to note, take time to notice your personal weather report. It might be interesting to ask your parents or siblings what their weather report is today. And this little graphic can be found on my resource page under the superintendent. And I wanna make a special announcement. Guess what tomorrow is? Wishbone Wednesday. So we're gonna spend all day or most of our morning together talking with Wishbone and thinking about what he does every day. So if you'd like to send Wishbone an email so that he can read it and maybe answer it tomorrow morning, here's his email address, wishbone at mtlsd.net. It is Wishbone Wednesday. Are you excited for that Wishbone? You certainly are excited for that. All right, let's move on to our meditation. So our, our meditation uh, is always a time uh, that I invite you to join me. And if you'd just like to sit and be quiet just for a few minutes, um, or just think quietly, or just close your eyes and take a little rest, whatever our body needs at that time. And remember, when we meditate, the more often we do it, the better we get at it. It's like lifting weights, the stronger we get. So we're really working to develop our mind and body. Okay, so let's sit down. It's fine, put our feet down on the floor. Let's sit up straight. And if you're comfortable, you can close your eyes or just look downward. And let's take a few deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And one more deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. 
and just return to our regular breathing. And the first thing we do is try to place ourselves in this space. So what sounds do we hear? What do we smell? What do we feel? Maybe our hands are on our laps. What do your senses feel right now? What do your senses notice right now? And we're going to use our breath as our anchor again today. So notice your chest or your belly expanding and contracting. And if the mind wanders away, just gently bring it back and see if you can feel your belly, your stomach, contracting and expanding. Again, it's normal to be distracted by sounds or thoughts or feelings. Just bring those back. And let's focus on our shoulders and neck right now. And let's just notice how they feel. Are they tense or are they loose and relaxed? Just notice them. And let's bring ourselves back to our breath in and out. And let's bring ourselves back into this space. What do we hear? What do we smell? And put a smile on your face. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. Uh, what a nice way to start our morning. So check in with your weather today. And remember that tomorrow is Wishbone Wednesday. All right, let's end our morning together as we always do. Either give yourself a hug. Thank you, Wishbone, for coming up. Or put your hand on your heart. And you can repeat quietly to yourself, May I be happy, may I be healthy, and may I be peaceful. Well, thank you for joining me today. See you tomorrow.